Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am going to be showing you guys how I animate my scenes, especially the facial expressions. Learning how to keyframe um, the layers in Procreate Dreams was challenging at first, but eventually you kind of get used to it. Um, I don't like how like the preview of the layers are very small. It's very hard to um, know which layer you're working on. So you have to like constantly zoom in and out. So I have to zoom into the eyes of this character. And let's see here. Okay, so I used a wrapping tool. So you always wanna have two key frames in the beginning, um, one for the starting point, and then the one next to it would be the transition. And then the third key frame would be how far out that facial expression will be presented on screen. And then you can do the fourth, keyframe which is transitioning transitioning into a different facial expression so notice how i have uh, two keyframes very close to one another how close the keyframes are together determines how fast um how fast transition is and you know naturally when we transition facial expressions very quick um you can also use like blinking i just draw the blinking layer once and just copy and paste it whenever i need to um, so I just have like a quick blink and you see how the layers very tight in between the two longer layers where her eyes are open. Um, so yeah, I have to draw the blinking every time um, when I'm on a different canvas, but that's okay because I can just copy and paste it on the next um, canvas. I know you can just copy and paste it and move it around. You can even move it to a different project if you wanted to, but you know, just drawing it, it's pretty, fast and simple. So the next thing you want to do is go on to the next layer. Um, this one's going to have the wrapping tool on it already. So you just delete it and just redraw the face if you wanted to, if there's a drastic change. So the drastic change here is that she's going to look more concerned. Um, so I would draw the eyebrows a little down, pointing upwards. Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> if you guys didn't already know, just know that the face, the head, the hair, the hat, the body, the arms, they're all in their own separate layer. Um, this makes it easier because like, you know how the hair just sways back and forth. I have, uh, I use the performance tool on that. I would explain it on a different video. Um, but I grouped it all together and just that makes it so much more convenient. I can just move the entire group to a different project if I want to, so I can just reuse that character. Um, drawing it was tough, so that does take a while. I, I don't recommend redrawing. I mean, I know there's animators out there that do that. I personally think that's that takes a lot longer. Um, so this is more like puppeteering your animation because you just draw it once and you just move the hair, the head around, etc. Also, if you guys haven't already subscribed, uh, please subscribe to my channel. It will really help out my content. And I post daily short, I try to post daily shorts every day. Um, so I am trying to transition to long form as well. I gotta keep my watch hours up. Let me know in the comment what you guys wanna see next. Um, so I can show you how I animate the hair or the dress or the scarf. Um, and I can also do drawing tutorials on Procreate. I don't like drawing on Procreate Dreams because it's a lot, it's more different than Procreate. So I just draw on Procreate and just transition that over to this app. Um, before Procreate Dreams came out, I used to use ToonSquid. I know a lot of people still use that. Um, what I don't like about Toon Squid is that, I don't know, like the, the amount of layers that I have to use for my projects is a lot. So if you have too many projects on Toon Squid, um, they're not able to, you're not able to upload it. Maybe there is a way, I just haven't figured that out. Um, for Procreate Dreams, they have more layers for you to use. Um, but if you, there is a limit because if you use too much, they won't be able to render your animation etc. 
Oh, and by the way, you can see that I'm not a makeup artist because all their makeup is the same. I have no idea how you do their makeup. So I just literally just put glitter and did that cat eye. If you guys didn't already know, these characters are based on zodiac signs. So the one I'm working on right now is supposed to represent Taurus. If you can tell by the layers, that's uh, that's her true color. It's gold. Um, I added pink tint to it to make it look more rose gold. So check out my community tab on my YouTube page. I post a lot of posts, so you can just like learn a lot about the characters that I'm using. If you guys saw my older content, um, the one that I post like back in August or September, um, I didn't have a lot of shading, so it made my characters look very flat and basic so i learned a lot about like the masking tool on procreate and that really helped me out with the shading and lighting on these characters there's so notice how the table disappears okay i found it so you see how it's very short to drag it out and yeah so that's how i do my facial expression guys thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe it will help out my channel a lot and just check out my daily shorts